Welcome to the American Dream, a show that started right here in San Diego, America's finest city, that now spans positive media all across the country, real stories in real neighborhoods. Hi, I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and here's the American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream, a real show, not a reality show. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture. It's not just about what you're living in, but the community you're gonna live in. High rise, luxury living. People are the vehicle, people are the connection, people are the expansion. Helping folks just like you find your dream home. It just never disappoints. Real stories in real neighborhoods with real experts. The opportunity to achieve our biggest goals and aspirations. It's the American dream. Welcome to American Dream TV. I'm your host, Marcy Imperi, selling Northeast Ohio. Today I'm going to share with you some of the gems on the North Coast, downtown Akron, at the corner of Main and Market Street. We're going to tour the historic Blue Teak Hotel and Restaurant. We're going to check out Blue Jazz, a fabulous place for jazz lovers. We're going to find out where to shop, where to live, where to eat, where to dine. This is great. Come with me. Let's begin our tour of downtown Akron at the corner of South Main and East Market at a neoclassical revival building built 100 years ago that owner Tony Tropi reclaimed in 2010. Tony, tell us about your vision and what you made happen here. It was a great day when we uh, came across a building that had been vacant for about 28 years. I'm on a mission to take uh, blight and convert it to light. And so uh, it's been a journey of taking uh, unwanted, underutilized assets of this community and putting them up on the lampstand so that they can shine bright and attract people from all over. So it's an exciting right. place to rejuvenate. Right, and at one main street, we have a very cool Bonvoy Hotel called the Blue Teak, part of the Blue Zone. And I've seen the rooms, they're luxurious, and you also have one, the one, restaurant. It's true. Yeah. Here we, uh, we plan on inviting our friends to come for dinner at the one, stay for the music at the blues, uh, blue jazz right across the street. Right. And now you can stay for the night. Come for dinner, stay for the music, stay for the night. Right. At not a boutique, a boutique hotel. B-L-U is an acronym. B-L-O-U. <laughs> so it's kind of like a jazz a, a descent. So you get down into that special groove of cool. Uh, the interior here is reflective of that. This would be uh, all about 1959 when Miles Davis came out with Kind of Blue, the birth of cool, really. Yeah. So we wanted to go back to that time frame and capture that moment because uh, it was celebrating the classics, the standards, but oh, the improvisational form really came through and spoke loudly to our design directives here. Tony, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful place with us. It's my pleasure. Yes. I'm all excited about what we have here and I just want to share it. Fun fact. The North Coast is in the top five emerging markets in the United States for jobs and affordable housing. But what makes a city perfect to live, work, and play? Shopping, of course. Let's check out one of Akron's finest treasures, Northside Cellar. Join me as we talk to the owner. Hey, Wendy, I'm back. Yay. I hope you came to play dress up with me. You know I do, <laughs> I love it here. What I love most about your shop is that there's truly something for everyone from high fashion to vintage, it's all here. What's your secret? How do you put that together? You know, I, I really just choose what I love and I love to shop and that's for the new stuff. And then the consignment, you never know what people are gonna bring you. And um, I, I, I got a pair of shoes, girl, I have to show you <laughs> today. They're absolutely to die for. And so it's just, 
a love, a love of fashion and just deciding what I think people would love. <laughs> right, and, and there's gifts here. There's, there's things from houseware gifts to all kinds of, you know, fashion items, accessories. There's always something to Thank find you. here. So Thank you have you. to come often, and I do. Thank <laughs> you. I, I try to have something new for those people who come often. And uh, you know, there's locally made products, uh, a lot of jewelry, like a lot of jewelry and candles. Again, I try to have something for everybody. Wendy, thanks so much for having us today. Oh my gosh, appreciate thank you. For, it. Oh, I appreciate you guys coming. It's it's very exciting to me to share what I love with anybody. Yeah, anyone who. Comes <laughs> yeah, anybody. In. Comes anyone in is welcome here. Yeah, I appreciate North it. Northside seller. Thank, thank you. you. There are a lot of options to enhance your lifestyle living here on the North Coast in Ohio. From dining to shopping to luxury living. I'm your host, Marcy Imperi. Join me next time on American Dream TV. Welcome to American Dream TV. My name is Larry Steinbacher and I'm your host. Today we'll be making two stops in Medina, Ohio, a city with a very rich history. Our first stop will be at the home of my good friends and former clients, Michelle and Corey Kohler. So come on in. So what specifically about was it about this home that you decided to purchase this, this particular property? Uh, this home is in a nice area, a uh, beautiful one-story place with a finished basement. And uh, upstairs, it's a nice open concept, which is uh, really nice for the family. Fantastic. All righty. So now we're going to have Michelle show us around. All right. Sounds great. So Michelle, I know you were right-sizing when you purchased this home. <laughs> What exactly about this home appealed to you? Well, Larry, we were looking for something that would fit our current lifestyle, and this one story did the trick. So we've got a beautiful granite island that we use for entertaining guests. Um, we've also got the uh, master bedroom that's right off the kitchen here, nice and convenient. We've got an office space on the other side, as well as an additional bedroom at front. All righty. And now you're going to show us your finished lower level. I would love to, Larry. All righty. I'd like to thank Corey and Michelle for this exclusive look at their home. It's inspiring to see how this was a perfect fit for their changing lifestyle. And now we're off to one of my favorite fine dining establishments, the Corkscrew Saloon. Welcome to the Corkscrew Saloon. This property was first known as the Burnham House. Mr. Burnham had actually bought 500 acres surrounding this property and built what is the second oldest building in the city of Medina today. So let's go see what's inside these walls. Hi, welcome to Corkscrew. Thank you, Tom. Yes. Tom, I understand you are the general manager and you're gonna show us around today. Absolutely, I would all love righty. to. Let's have a seat and uh, have a chat and have you tell us all about Corkscrew. Perfect. All righty. So Tom, how long have you been the general manager here? So I've been a general manager here for about a year, but in total I've been here 10. Oh wow, okay. So tell me, what brings people coming back to the Corkscrew Saloon? I think honestly what keeps people coming back is our family-like atmosphere and consistency in the kitchen. Wow. So with all that being said, would you like to show us around? Absolutely. All righty. Yes, I am now with Ryan Marino, the executive chef and owner of the Corkscrew Saloon. So Ryan, can you tell me a little bit about what inspired you to become a chef to begin with? Well, uh, I've worked in the industry uh, since I was a young child. Um, my dad had a catering company. I kind of grew up in the kitchen. 
Then how, of all places, did you end up choosing this Victorian, built in 1850 mansion to open up your first restaurant? Well, it, it kind of chose me. The uh, founder of, of, of the Corks Group, Ginny Vargo, wanted to find a local chef. She called over to the Career Center to Chef Tony, which I went to their culinary program over there. Chef Tony uh, put a connection together. He knew I was looking to open up a place and she had just bought it. I'd like to thank the fine folks here at the Corkscrew Saloon for sharing their establishment with us. Join us next time when we continue to uncover real estate and lifestyle gems. This is Larry Steinbacher and American Dream TV. I'm Rob Gold with American Dream TV. Thanks for joining me today. We are downtown Cleveland in Public Square, and we are at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument. This is a 130-year-old monument. It's an incredible place, and most Clevelanders don't realize they can go inside. So let's do that. Let's go in, check it out, and see how amazing this place is. Thanks for joining me. here at the Soldiers and Sailors Monument with Greg Palumbo, the Executive Director. This is a great place. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I've been here about three years. We are a hidden gem on Cleveland's Public Square. A lot of people don't know that we are open daily, uh, 10 a.m. to 5.30, so you can find us, find us here. I have very knowledgeable caretakers that work with me here um, that will be happy to give you a tour around this beautiful monument. We, in 2009, uh, did a major restoration to bring the luster back to the uh, interior of the monument. So you see our beautiful colored walls. Uh, that wasn't always the case. It used to be very black and white in here. So if you haven't been for a long time or you know you say, oh, I was there when I was a kid, it's a little different than it used to be. And the building is 130 years old? 130 year old Civil okay. War monument. Uh, we're dedicated July 4th, 1894 and dedicated to the 9,000 names on the wall of men that served just from Cuyahoga County in the Civil War. This is how Ohio won the war? Yeah, it's the beginnings of the war and we like to call it how Ohio won the war. Okay. Uh, there are our three wartime governors that are in the middle, depicted in the middle here, Denison, Todd, and Bruff. Uh, they were all very big recruiters during the war. On either side of them, they're flanked by generals who are over Ohio troops. Uh, two of them are Ohioans that become president. We have Rutherford B. Hayes in the center of our panel, our grouping over here, and we have James A. Garfield on the end over here. As we're going around the corner, uh, you mentioned the stained glass windows. Those are reflecting what's going on on the outside of those walls. So okay. you see all of the in instruments and implements that these men would have used on, in any of these uh, four branches that are depicted. So four branches during the Civil War. We had the Navy, and we have an, an anchor and a capstan for the Navy. Then we come around to the artillery on this far side over here, cannonballs, cannons. And on this side we have the infantry, so we have backpacks, rifles, drums, and then we have cavalry soldiers on horseback. So we've got horseshoes, saddles, signal flags, sabers. But this one I'm not gonna uh, uh, mistake, that is Lincoln. That is Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, this is our most prominent panel, and in the 1890s our front door would have been this side. We've, okay. uh, this panel is the emancipation panel, it's depicting the Emancipation Proclamation. And we have Lincoln holding the broken shackles, which is really common to see. What's uncommon is Lincoln holding a gun in a statue. As far as we can tell, this is the only statue of Lincoln actually holding a weapon, holding a gun. He's handing that to this formerly enslaved gentleman who's accepting that weapon, taking the oath of service to join the military and defend his freedom. The man that was the model for the formerly enslaved gentleman, his name is Dan Fields. He gets his name down next to the president at the bottom of the statue there. and. Uh, not only served as the model, but would later become a caretaker here, doing the job that I do. All right, so Greg, if you could tell us about this one. Yeah, this is the end of the war. So we went from the beginnings of the war to the end of the war as we came around. And we have Lincoln meeting with his generals at City Point, Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, there, this meeting did happen, and this panel is called The Peacemakers. 
Uh, that's also the name of a painting in the National Gallery called The Peacemakers. And that depicts the meeting between Lincoln, Grant, and Sherman. Um, but Commander-in-Chief gets his way, <laughs> and Grant pursues Lee about a week after this is when Lee would surrender. And then we come to the women of the war. Yeah, so as you come in today, you uh, come in through this door, and this is the ladies greet you as you walk through. These are the ladies of the Sanitary Commission and Soldiers Aid Society. Uh, they're a precursor to the American Red Cross. Mm -hmm. So they would raise about a million dollars locally, just out of the Cleveland area, um, in medical supplies, comfort goods, and just cold hard cash. It's impressive. Uh, they're very impressive. Just to give a little bit of a, an idea of what that would be in just dollars and cents, that's about $20 million today. All of them are pretty notable in their day. Most notable to us is the lady standing tall here on the end. Her name is Lucy Hayes. She becomes first lady when Rutherford E. Hayes becomes president. Greg, I want to appreciate you for taking your time, showing us through some remarkable monument. Your knowledge has been really helpful. I think people are going to enjoy it. This is really a remarkable place in Public Square. You may not have known you can come in. Come on in. Greg will tell you about it. Whoever is here will tell you about it. Check out all this amazing stuff. It's a great place in Public Square. Thank you. My name is Rob Gold with American Dream TV and look forward to seeing you next time. American Dream TV, I'm going to discuss with you how to add unique upgrades and timeless elegance to your home using stone. I'm Teresa Slowey Widom, your host of American Dream TV Selling Cleveland, and I'm going to bring you to the best place I know to discuss striking uses of stone, Mott Services. Come on, let's check it out. Mott Services is a premier wholesale supplier of stone, both natural and engineered materials. The showroom is exquisite, and we have over 400 options of materials and installation ideas. Here to show you more, I would like to introduce you to Brian Miller, Business Development at Mott Services. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for Yeah, having you me. caught me in the middle of doing some cooking here. I see. At here at Mott, we don't care if it's raining or not. It, it's always a beautiful day here at Mott, so. Brian, I think the best way to experience Mott is to tour the showroom and then take a look inside your slab warehouse. Let's go, I'd love to show you guys around. Okay. The showroom here is absolutely beautiful and it's so refreshing that it's open to the public so all of our viewers can get ideas here. It's an inspiration to start here in the showroom because we have so many different applications for things like your shower surrounds, your fireplace surrounds, your kitchens, your vanities, also wine room applications. We have beautiful, large format porcelain for vertical applications like the showers, the fireplace, the wine rooms, things like that. But then when you get into the thicker material like the engineered quartz and also the natural stone, perfect for a lot of horizontal applications like vanities, also kitchen settings and, and, and more or less exterior settings too. Tell me about this piece. This is one of our beautiful marbles. This particular stone was hand selected like all of our natural stones from all over the world. Places like Madagascar, Spain, Italy, Brazil, and what we do is we have employees that fly all over the world. They've been flown out to the mountain and the mountain has already polished this part for us. And it's their job to say, okay, I will take 200 slabs of those and I will take 200 slabs of those. Over the last several years, we jumped on board with large format porcelain. In fact, we brought in four foot by eight foot panels of porcelain but in the last four years, we have developed a modular, large format porcelain shower system called Synthesis. But the whole reason for inventing this is because of all the clients that came in not wanting any more grout. That's amazing. It's beautiful and practical. Absolutely. Welcome to Medina. We are here where Mont Surfaces has provided much of the stonework in this very special, stunning home. The kitchen is the one room of the house where most of our viewers will be thinking of putting stone surfaces. Not only does this home have beautiful countertops, but they've done the continuous backsplash 
to elevate the look and style of the home here. You'll notice a majority of this lovely home uses stone flooring to pull together all the elegance and the high value aesthetic throughout the home. In the family room, you'll experience the TV surround made of stone and a gas fireplace with custom stone application to offer an accent wall between the rooms that exudes versatility, luxury, and sophistication. And one of my favorite visuals is this illuminated stone, again, on the wall, as opposed to on an island or a countertop. All the bathrooms in the home have been upgraded to feature some of the most beautiful stone surfaces, from the stunning vanity countertops to the floor-to-ceiling shower surrounds and the base floor, not only visually striking, but they're durable and they're easy to maintain, making this the perfect choice for bathrooms. It truly emphasizes how stone surfaces can elevate the overall appeal of any room in your home. Thank you for joining me today as we tour the showroom at Mott Surfaces and their slab warehouse. I hope you felt inspired and filled with ideas when you're transforming your home into your American dream. I'm Teresa Slowey Whittem, your host of American Dream TV Selling Cleveland. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the American Dream TV. Hi, I'm your host, Christy Morick, and today I'm with my daughter and special co-host. Hi, I'm Kayla, and today we're at Hocking Hills. Hocking Hills, Ohio is an absolute nature lover's dream. That it is. Did you know that Hocking Hills is actually also the second most visited tourist attraction in Ohio? I did not, but I'll bet it's because of all of the amazing cabins and state parks and hiking and canoeing. Love. Wineries, definitely want to visit those. However, today we're going to be meeting with the owner of Cabins by the Caves. Valerie is going to give us an inside peek at two of her beautiful cabins. Today we're here with Valerie Frieda, the owner and manager of Cabins by the Caves. Valerie, tell us all about this beautiful place. Thank you, good to be here. So this is Rockridge okay. Cabin. Um, this is a Jubak built log home. Uh, Jubak is a custom log home builder here in the Hocking Hills area. This cabin sleeps up to six people very comfortably. Very comfortable. It's three bedrooms, three and a half baths. Absolutely gorgeous piece of property with multiple acres. Cabins by the Caves, we are a full service uh, cabin business here in the Hocking Hills. Uh, we have a lot of additional services that we can provide our guests. We do grocery delivery, which is really nice. So you can come on your vacation and there you go. Really have a vacation. Right, and really have a vacation. We have a traveling chef that can come to the cabins and prepare meals. Um, so that's really nice for a special touch. Uh, roses, gift baskets, and we also have a wedding, small wedding venue business as well. Wow. So you can come and do a destination wedding, have your ceremony, get it catered, and then you go back and enjoy your cabins. We also have special honeymoon cabins uh, for the, the, the newlywed couple. I love that. Yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. Get their family out there, everyone can stay in their own cabin. Yep. How much fun. Yep. All of our cabins have fully equipped kitchens, uh, indoor fireplaces, private hot tub. So right now we're at Beehive Bungalow. Valerie, tell us all about this adorable cabin. Super adorable, right? It's so very, very nice. cute. This is really a great cabin for a couple or two couples. It's two bedrooms, it's two full baths, it's loaded with amenities, uh, lovely gas fireplace, fully equipped kitchen, Wi-Fi, outdoor fire pit, private hot tub, tucked away on 12 acres, um, and super unique and very, very, very comfortable. Oh, and there's that very special thing outside that we noticed when we pulled up. Yes, we've got EV charging too, so. Incredible, Yeah. So, incredible. And this also has a whole house generator. 
So if you have any rough weather that would cause a power outage, you, you are still operating here. Beautiful. And really nicely appointed, nicely furnished. Um, there is an extra chair and a half. Uh, you could bring one extra person because it could sleep five. Okay. Um, but it is two private bedrooms with queen size beds. We also have the loft area where we've got a nice game table. Um, so if people want to sit up there and play board games or cards yeah. and it's very centrally located as well. Uh, another unique thing is it's actually right next door to Honey Goat Hill. Um, they actually have a 12 acre parcel and they have their own separate driveways, but there is another three bedroom cabin that will sleep up to 10. So people could actually rent both cabins together or okay. separately. That's fantastic. Yeah, very nice. Unfortunately, we can't stay tonight. We have to go show some houses. But thanks so much for visiting Cabins by the Caves with us and in Hocking Hills. Until next time, I'm your host, Christy Morick. I'm Kayla. And we'll see you soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Produced from America's finest city, but shot in the heart of your neighborhoods. Don't forget, positive media when the world really needs it. Follow us on social media at The American Dream TV. See you next time. In the meantime, cheers to your American dream.